Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between biotic and abiotic factors in an ecosystem. Let's start with biotic factors. Biotic factors in ecosystems are items that are considered alive, such as this animal or large tree, or as small as this single cell euglena or bacteria. In order to be considered biotic, it must have these six traits. The organism must be able to grow and develop, be made of cells, respond to stimuli, require energy, be able to reproduce, and finally contain DNA. Abiotic factors are non-living factors in environment. Examples include fire, water, air, ice, sunlight, temperature, and rocks and minerals. In fact, an ecosystem is this interaction between the abiotic and biotic factors in a particular area. Let's take a look at some ecosystems and identify the biotic and abiotic factors. In this ecosystem, the biotic factors are the fish, the trees, and plants. The abiotic factors would include sunlight, sand, clouds, and the water. In this ecosystem, the biotic factors include the human, the trees and plants, and the lichen growing on the rocks. The abiotic factors would include, but not limited to, the rocks, clouds, temperature, and sunlight. So there we go, biotic and abiotic factors, the living and non-living factors in an ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. If this helped, please share with a friend. 